y'all welcome to Adrice's Kitchen 6 9. Where I love to play with a recipe. Oh, today I want to make for you guys oh, cornbread, homemade dressing, y'all. Oh, oh, it smells so yummy, delicious. And it has a secret ingredient. So, look. Get you a little white wine and watch what I share with you this recipe and that one secret ingredient. <laughs> okay, for this dressing ingredients, I have here one chopped up white onion and to mix the flavor, I have here about three green onions. I have here about a half a cup of celery chopped up. This is actually one large green pepper chopped up. I'm going to try and get away with just using one half stick of butter. I don't want to use both these butters. Just a half a stick. <laughs> you know, girlfriend got to watch her weight, right? Two raw eggs. And... I have no poultry season, but let me share with you the blend. You need some thyme for poultry season, some margarine leaves, some rosemary, of course sage, parsley flakes, and black pepper. That is for my sage, I mean that is for my poultry blend. And just because oregano, I use oregano on everything due to COVID. And celery salt, just a pinch of it. Garlic powder. I have here some chicken broth. And I may use only a cup. But I also, if you don't, if you want to go really homemade I have here the carcasses and the bones of a smoked chicken we did and I mixed it with water and let it slow cook and I'm gonna use this as broth and you see I got this large pan of homemade cooked cornbread just follow the instructions on the bag and they say, no, they don't say. My mother, she always took day-old bread and crunch it up too for our dressing. Okay, so let's get started. I have here some olive oil. And I have fell in love with walnut oil. Even though you can use it on such a high temperature, but it has such a just nutty flavor. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to blend that all in too with this recipe for this dressing. We're going to use the olive oil to saute the raw vegetables. Just to give them a little soft. I'm going to slip a little of this walnut oil. It has a little unique nutty flavor. And saute a tablespoon of that butter. Okay. Let's start with these white onions. I think this is about a, a cup and a half. Actually, just one large white onion. And the green onions. We want a nice flavor with this dressing. Celery. I think that's a cup. 
If I don't have enough, I got some celery, ground celery to, to boot, and one large green pepper. We're going to saute that and let them soften up really pretty good. Let's add a little black pepper. And a little celery salt. Because, you know, I like to play with my recipes. <laughs> I don't have any ground celery. And of course, some oregano. We need that for our immune system. And all the other seasonings I will add later. I'm not adding any salt to this because that one tablespoon of butter is salted. I'm learning how to cut down on my salt. And the cornbread I made actually used butter, salted butter. So, we don't have to have all that salt. While the onion and vegetables and green peppers are sauteing on a low heat, getting soft for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to let it sit and cool off for about 10, 15 minutes. We ain't in no hurry, right? <laughs> Get you a drink, right? <laughs> so now I'm going to crunch up with my hands. Old day old bread. I had some day old hot dog buns. I'm gonna crunch them together. I actually put them in the oven and let them cook on a baking sheet. And I made homemade cornbread with buttermilk. Okay, so we're going to crunch that all together for our dressing. I crumbled the cornbread and the day-old bread together. Look at it. <laughs> it's ready. Now, I'm going to strain off the chicken broth or chicken stock. I got bone chicken stock. But if you don't have none, use some chicken broth or chicken stock in the box, in the can. I just had some homemade. We made a smoked chicken. So I'm going to drain off all the juice from this for my chicken stock. For my dressing. Yeah, I had it in the freezer. So all I had to do was mix a little water and a little oil and let it simmer for a little bit. And it's got delicious juices that's going to just make you die for this dressing. have here about two tablespoons left of this butter. Like I said, I'm trying to cut down on how much butter I put in my recipes. And I'm about to melt this in the microwave. Okay, it's melted. I know it seems like a little. I'm going to scramble up these two eggs. Combine them together with my little whisk here. And I'm going to pour around this start of my dressing, right? <laughs> and we're going to Mix it all around. Let's pour that butter in on it. I 
have fell in love with walnut oil. <laughs> it has such a nutty flavor. So I'm going to put about, looks like a tablespoon full. Let's mix that together. Now, for all my ingredients. Garlic pepper, I think that's a teaspoonful. Oregano, definitely oregano. It's good for your immune system. I just shake as much as I like. These ingredients, the margarine leaves, because I don't have no poultry season. So I'm gonna use this and make up my own poultry season, which is margarine leaves, thyme. I like flavor. And these seasonings, dry seasonings, they will not hurt your immune system or gain you any weight. <laughs> and some parsley flakes. Shake, shake, shake. Season to a taste. I wish I had some ground rosemary, but I don't. Usually this is for my meats, but play with my recipes. I enjoy playing with my recipes and a little celery salt. Maybe a teaspoon. Uh, black pepper. Notice I haven't used any salt, y'all, because I already got it in the butter. And the cornbread and the chicken stock and most of all we never use sage except during the holidays right <laughs> so let's use up some sage some about sage and dressing and chicken stock just <laughs> yum yum right all right let's mix this together mm -hmm. Okay, we have all those dry ingredients together. Now let's mix in that raw vegetable, sauteed vegetables of onions, peppers, two types of onions. Those white onions give you such a better flavor. And green pepper. What else I got in here? Celery. Oh, I didn't have no garlic, did I? No, no garlic. But if you like to add garlic, add garlic. And let's mix this all together. It smells so delicious right now. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so good. Now, here's the trick. Because that's what's the problem with most people. You know, they have either too soggy of a dressing. You pour a little bit. I got two cups of chicken broth here. Pour a little at a time. A little at a time. Because we want a coarse. I like a coarse. Cornbread dressing. I even grew up where they put sausages in here. If you had pre-cooked some sausage, if you're a meat lover or some chicken, you can put that in here now, pre-cooked. Because we're going to set our oven at 350, put it in the Pyrex, and let it bake anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. Here. Pour some more. I got that. Two cups. Oh, it smells yummy. Now it's ready for the Pyrex. It's ready for a cocktail, right? All right, look. We did good. I only use a half.
half a stick of butter. But now, I have a 9 by 13. Is this 9 by 13? Yeah, Pyrex. 9 by 13. I'm telling you guys, I love this roasted walnut roll. But it can't handle more than 350 degrees. So, I got to spread my little Pyrex a little bit with it, coat it. And a little olive oil, because we know olive oil can handle the temperature. No, I didn't use butter. We get a certain age in life, got to lay off butter. But you young folks, hey, you can do butter. <laughs> All right, let's spread it around. Okay, I got it coated good. And let's pour over. This dressing. And let's put your oven, set your oven to 350. And we're going to cook this good old dressing for 30 minutes. Yep. See, I got my cranberry sauce ready. <laughs> Oh, look. Ooh. Oh, and that smells so delicious. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> oh, look at that. I got me some cranberry sauce. Oh, and some gravy. Homemade gravy. I could have to show you how to make that again on another video. <laughs> Tasty, yummy, and delicious. And the Sneevy, he smoked a turkey breast. So we can't wait. So look, y'all. I know you was looking for that secret ingredient. I already told you. Walnut oil. Put a little walnut oil in in this dress, and it's got such a nice little tasty, nutty, meaty flavor for people who don't eat meat. I'm telling you, this is my new thing, walnut oil, but you can't use it on such a high temperature, only up to 350 degrees. And another thing, y'all got to go to sunmoonproducts.com. And order some Sneevies for that spice. The Sneevy smoke this turkey breast with this Sneevy spice. I didn't use it on any of my dressing this time. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Adrice's Kitchen 69. Where she loves to play with a recipe. Love, like, share, subscribe. We living our best life.